Hello everyone, my name is Steve Hughes. I teach illustration here at Northern Michigan University and I also do a lot of plein air painting and drawing from life. And what that means is research for me is so dedicated towards understanding the natural world, how light affects form, how color changes based on time of day, and that investment in understanding and practice on location feeds back into the studio. It feeds back into my process of painting from photographs, uh, from things that are inanimate and two-dimensional and maybe lack that sense of life. And so what I do out on location is try to build up my memory, build up an understanding of what is life really like in that moment, whether it's the small little imperceptible changes in temperature, uh, where it's warmer or cooler, that get lost or blown out in a, fo in a photograph. So it is about kind of gathering information, uh, just as a scientist uh, might study a, a, an animal out on location. I'm, I'm studying light, I'm studying uh, the, the way that the color is shifting. So that can be definitely brought back into the studio in my memory, in studies, uh, I've got sketchbooks uh, that we'll look at in a few minutes here, full of things that I've looked at on location. Those can be really valuable tools uh, to have around me while I'm painting in the studio. Uh, the same goes for working from the human figure. I do a lot of life drawing and studying of anatomy, so that when I do a piece that's that needs to twist or distort the form a little bit or, or layer things on top, uh, I'm able to kind of understand uh, what should be underneath there and not get uh, kind of lost within all the, the cool stuff that you want to add to it. So it is about building authority, building confidence in understanding of the forms, and that's that's really part of my research. It's practice, it's work, it's going out there uh, every other day, every day if I'm lucky, uh, and getting a chance to paint. Uh, I'm also looking at different media. I've got books with watercolor, gouache, I do oil painting on location as well, and then uh, in the life drawing classes I do charcoal and pastel. Uh, I'm pretty uh, adept at kind of switching media based on what the subject might look like that day, or what uh, the weather concurrents uh, might be doing, uh, whether it's foggy, which is really great for watercolor because you can get some cool bleeds. Uh, so you can play to the strengths of your media. Um, I'm using the sketchbooks as research as well for kind of understanding what that media can do. Experiment with how that paint goes down because it's not precious. This is not a final piece. This is not something that I'm going to sell. Uh, these are things that are personal and really informative for, of my work down the road. Uh, so it's, it's not about whether it's a beautiful piece at the end of the day. It's the thinking that goes into each page, each, uh, each color that gets applied, each brush stroke that gets applied that I can catalog and kind of refer back to down the road. Uh, so we can see uh, a piece I just finished, uh, which is a little bit more of a final piece uh, for a plein air competition, but that's built up on stacks of work. Uh, the same goes for figure drawing and life models. Like I've got, I've got stacks and stacks of, of work uh, really work dedicated towards understanding color, understanding what's going on uh, with the forms and how light and shadow kind of work uh, so that I have a better understanding of it uh, when I need to be more creative or get to be more creative, right? So this is helping me feel confident of, of what I can do down the road. So I hope you get a, a, a chance to, to watch the rest of the video and uh, see see some sketchbook work a little bit more up close. Uh, and by all means, check out my work online. Uh, I go by Primary Hughes. You can find me on Instagram uh, or on my website, primaryhughes.com. So thanks everyone for watching. We're gonna look at a sketchbook. And this is something that I've been working over uh, the past few years on. Uh, plein air painting. It started in Iceland on a residency trip uh, where you meet other artists and you spend a week working together, talking together. Uh, so we had about an hour on location to kind of explore, do
do sketching, take photographs and such. And so I was spending that uh, with watercolor paint. Uh, you know, some of these are going to be more efficient and, and stronger than others. But uh, overall in the book, you're going to see a great deal of evolution and confidence and handling of the paint. Uh, some of these become a little bit longer sketches or studies, some are a little shorter. Uh, and then we start to come back uh, to the Upper Peninsula. This is at Sugarloaf, Dead River Falls, and you're going to see a lot of work at Presque Isle. So I'm really investigating the medium as as a source of you know inspiration for myself to learn new color and appreciate uh, just what we have around us. Uh, get out of the studio essentially, and I've definitely found uh, the habit of getting out and painting every day you know, changes. Changes your outlook, changes how you feel at the end of the day, uh, that you accomplish something. Um, so as we start to think about what is our sketchbook good for, for me, I've never been a great uh, sketchbooker. I was uh, always more in tune with a loose leaf sheet of paper, something that wasn't, um, I wouldn't get uh, kind of attached to. I could toss it if it wasn't any good. Uh, but this book has become, you know, a, an important part of my development uh, overall and really it's it's a it's a record now it's a journal of those experiences and so I have you know I filled this one here in about a year uh, mostly in the summer and then I've started a second one uh, with gouache as well as watercoloring uh, to kind of push myself a little bit more And that's the last one in that book. The other book, again, I said I started in gouache. Uh, this is somewhat of a different medium. It's opaque, so it's a little closer to oil painting or acrylic. But I'm going back and forth between watercoloring, taking on trips, and then really trying to tackle some deliberate practice. I wanted to push the separation between the foreground and the background here, so treating it monochromatically depth of field is sort of blurry like a photograph. Looking at grouping areas and going out with a plan, going out on location with a plan, an idea in your head. I was looking at some artists uh, who were working with strong diagonals and I was pushing atmospheric perspective and so I used it as a little bit of a scavenger hunt to say I'm looking at Andrew Wyeth or an NC Wyeth painting and they use a lot of gray so can I find a composition out there that utilizes a lot of gray and develop something interesting? This one I was looking at letter form composition, so there's kind of an S-curve to this that I was out there actively looking for. I was looking at some figurative paintings uh, that utilize negative space really well, so I wanted to try to tackle that to see how it would achieve a strong focal point uh, for that portion. More of an unfinished piece. Uh, these are out in Norway now on a trip. Not as much time. Um, this one I was battling uh, the damp morning where the paper wouldn't dry. So you're going to have these moments of uh, problematic things that happen on location that you got to deal with, which I find really interesting and fun as well. It adds to the, the overall piece and my experience of the piece. And then we're back in the Upper Peninsula at Presque Isle. Uh, that river uh, is out on the Escanaba River. A little gouache painting trying to do something uh, more architectural. And that's the final one where I'm at in this book right now. So the overall kit that I'm using is really nothing fancy. You can see it's all filthy and dirty right now as well. Uh, this is the general uh, you know, travel palette. Uh, it closes up pretty tight, though it'll leak if it's a little damp. 
comes with a small brush though I very rarely actually use that brush that's more in case I forget uh, my regular brush kit which is a little set of travel brushes and they're just short so they can pack in a bag really easily uh, and then I've got a, a blue water soluble colored pencil that I'll do my drawing in the colored pencil will dissolve in the first washes but still be there enough that I can see the big shapes I don't do a lot of uh, strong drawing in it uh, it's more about big shapes and so I hope you you find some interest in seeing that process and I encourage you to have some fun with your sketchbooks overall thanks everyone